Hey, hey, it's Bunny Hop High. You know, this ain't really a base. This is just a hole you dug right after you spawned. Next time, you may try one of these. First one is the river base, so find a nice river and bridge yourself out. And make sure that the bridge is at water level, it makes your building easier. For the foundation, start with 5, then you go 7, 5 times, then back to 5, and then 3, 3 times. And for the last draw of the 3 blocks, use slabs. You don't have to, but I think it looks nicer. Grab some dirt and go one time around your foundation, but skip the 3 blocks at the front. Go one block down and make a little edge so we can put sand on top. And again at the front leave it open. in your sand we're going to plant sugar cane on it later the idea is to use the stuff we already need to build our little base means we use chests and barrels and furnaces to build the walls of our little house so place some slabs to give it a little frame and then these barrels are going to hold the roof of our house and the walls are going to be made out of, like I said, stuff we need. So furnaces and chests and barrels. Place the crafting table in the floor so it looks like a little carpet. And then to start the roof, Place two fences on top of these four barrels. For the last one, place a trap door on top, so you have a starting point for the roof. Place a trap door in front, in one on the left, and then use slabs to connect over to the other side. One in the center and a trapdoor left and right. Now place the trapdoor against the fence and one on top by placing it against the slab. Three slabs to connect over. Slab in the center. Trapdoor left and right. on top against the slab, one against the fence, and on this side as well. Again, slabs to connect over, a trap door against the slab on top of the fence, against the fence, and again three slabs to connect. One in the center, left and right against the fence so for the top of the roof you can use slabs or full blocks and a barrel in between and then you place a slab in front go around like this so again full block or slab and a barrel and a slab in front barrel in between, slap in front, and the last barrel, and the last slap in front. Now 
our stairs all around on top of the barrels and then we make a little light by using trap doors and a lantern. Make a little cage out of the trap doors. One on top and hang the lantern inside. Use trapdoors to make a sunscreen and place some lights. So grab whatever seeds you have. I used carrots and wheat and of course the sugar cake. Don't forget your boat and this base is done. For the raft we not only use chests and barrels but also signs and trap doors to give it a light frame. The foundation is made using slabs. When you place them make it so that they are at the water level. And then you go 10 by 5 blocks. is always extreme. Since this is a very small space, the interior also works as part of our walls. Even the biggest adventurer needs a break from time to time to so make you a little bench. The idea for the balls is to give them the look and feel as if they were made out of driftwood. So there is no regularity, there is not really a pattern, so just work your way around and Give it this touch of irregularity, but not too much because then it feels too noisy for your eyes to look at. To begin the roof, place fences on top of these four barrels. To place your windows, aim on the edges of the trapdoors and signs, hold shift and jump click.
the first slab for the roof is placed against the trapdoor and then on top of the fence and then left and right from that. And the rest is always half a block up, so you make a little step. Again, aim on the edge, hold shift and jump click. Two on top of the fence and one in front and one against the trapdoor and connect the slabs. All it does, it follows always this half a block up pattern. So that's all you do. No matter how complicated it looks, it's always half a block up, half a block down. Now we come to the little kitchen roof, it's entirely made out of trapdoors, so start placing one against the slab and then continue over to the window, here the trapdoor sits behind and not on top. Same pattern again, just always half a block up. the roof is done. All that's left is some decoration and finish the oven chimney thingy. And when you build this, don't burn yourself, please. Since your shoreline will look different from mine, this is not going to be exact, but just to show you how I've done it. So you start with seven blocks, then you put three in the middle, and connect with two to the shoreline and decorate with trapdoors and campfires. Use trapdoors to connect the last gap and connect over to your raft. And we are done with this one. I don't know if you really want to live in the dark forest. Maybe you just grab a mushroom and bone meal it somewhere where it's safe. Besides from that, you don't need that many materials because half of your house is made out of a mushroom. Best is a mushroom that is three blocks high. So go in and place blocks right around the center and then directly underneath the head of your mushroom and where the entrance is, leave a little gap and place a slab underneath. Two slabs out and one on the side. And then you go three blocks away, place a slab, go half a block up, another half and your stair is done. Now for the corners, place the dirt and trapdoors around then underneath fence and a light, again 
dirt and trapdoors in the corner. Then left and right fences and a lantern. Again, the corner with dirt and trapdoors. Fences left and right and a lantern in center. And last time, the dirt and trapdoors. Most of the house is built out of decoration, so what you do is you use trapdoors and then you place um, potted plants and lanterns onto them. Place some trapdoors where your window goes to give it a little roof and then use an oak trapdoor to mimic a window with glazing bars. And here in the back only place the trapdoors and don't make a window. Put leaves in the corners on top of the dirt and then place flowers and some more leaves to decorate the little roofs we made. There really is no rush, just walk around your little bit and look where you feel you can um, put something or maybe remove something. It's, it's more like a back and forth rather than placing and being sure about that the block has to be there. With these windows, we actually start the roof of our little mushroom house. The nice thing about them is that they um, give light from above as well. So just work your way around. So it's a slab left and right, trapdoor in the middle, trapdoor in front, one on top, and then a slab left and right. some slabs and a lock in the center, a lantern on top, potted mushroom and some flowers and the roof is done. Next is a chimney, there's a stair that faces to the camera and then one that goes to the left. Go three blocks up, then a mushroom or red concrete on top, then a campfire and trapdoors around. The outside is basically done. Now I show you what I did for the interior of the house. The last touch for the decoration on the outside and a little roof for our jaw. Now remove the stem in the center so we have a bit more space 
and placed lanterns in all the windows. The little mushroom house is done. That's it. Tia around.